Hi, in this video, we are going to discuss the loss of exponents. So at the end of this lesson, the learner should be able to correctly derive the loss of exponents and simplify expressions using the loss of exponents. Kailangan natin maintindihan at ma-familiarize or ma-memorize yung loss, loss of exponents kasi kailangan natin siya in multiplication and division of polynomials. So, law number one, product of powers. Product of powers. Ibig sabihin, kailangan natin ito when we multiply expressions with the same base. Okay? The same base. So, in general, if x is a real number and m and n are positive integers, then x raised to m times x raised to n equals x raised to m plus n. So, we have here the same base. The same ang base nila x. So, you just have to copy that, copy the common base. And multiplication, tandaan pag multiplication, we are going to add add the exponents. Okay? Add the exponents. So, we have x raised to m plus n. Example, x to the power of 4 times x to the power of 6. So, we have the same base, x and x so we copy the same base or we copy the common base x and then since multiplication yan we are going to add the exponent so that's 4 plus 6 and that is equal to 10. another example if okay if we have a raised to 5 times a raised to 6 and so common ang base so we have a, and then 5 plus 6, that would be 11. Okay, ganyan lang kasimple yan. Tandaan, it's for multiplication. Okay, product. I-add ang exponents. Now, law of exponent number 2, quotient of powers naman. So, when we say quotient, division yan. Okay, division. So, in general, if x is a real number, x should not be 0 or x is not equal to 0 and m and n are positive integers, then x to the power of m divided by x to the power of n equals either of the three. So, when m equals n, meaning the same ang value ng m at saka ng n, the same ang exponent nila, then the answer is 1. Okay? The answer is 1. When m is greater than n, kung mas malaki daw ang exponent sa taas kaysa dun sa exponent sa baba, then the answer should be x to the power of m minus n. Okay? So, i-divide nat, uh, i-subtract natin yung exponents nila dun sa taas. But when m is less than n, that's when um, mas malaki yung exponent sa baba, then, ang magiging sagot is 1 over x to the power of n minus m. Meaning, para lang tayong nagsasubtract din ng exponents, kaya lang, dito natin ginagawa sa baba. Dito natin ilalagay sa baba. Okay. Let's have an example of the three situations. So, unahin natin yung when m equals n. So, let's say we have x raised to 4 divided by x raised to 4. So, the same ang base, the same ang exponents. So, kapag, uh, di ba sabi ko kanina, dun sa uh, multiplication, mag-a-add. Kapag ka mag-divide, mag-subtract. Okay, mag-subtract ng exponents kapag ka mag-divide. So, copy the common base, that's x. And so, mag-subtract tayo kasi division yan. So, we have 4 minus 4, that is equal to 0. x to the power of 0. Tandaan, any number that is raised to a zero power, kung ang exponent niya ay zero, that is always equal to one. Okay? Equal to one. Any number or variable na ang power or ang exponent niya ay zero, that number is equal to one. That would be equal to one. Okay? That is why when m equals n, the answer is one. Let's have number 2 when m is greater than n. Kung mas malaki ang exponent sa taas kaysa baba. So, this would be example number 2. So, y raised to 5 over y squared. So, common base i y. Then, we have 5 minus 3. That is 3. Uh, I'm sorry, 5 minus 2. That is 3. So, the answer is y cubed. Okay, kasi division, 
sub subtract lang yung dalawa mas malaki sa taas. Ayan, so 5 minus 2, that's 3. Next, when the exponent in the denominator is greater than the one in the numerator. So, let's have, ibalik ta rin lang natin. Uh, y equals, uh, I'm sorry, y raised to 2 over y raised to 5. So, dito naman, mas malaki yung nasa baba kaysa nasa taas. Applying the rules for quotient of powers, kapag ka nag-divide, oh, ulitin ko lang, pag nag-multiply, i-add ang exponents. Pag nag-divide, i-subtract ang exponents. Okay? So, this one, um, kung, kung gagamitin natin yung, yung ginawa natin dito kanina at yung ginawa natin dito, so that would be y, equal, uh, y to the power of 2 minus 5. Okay? y raised to 2 minus 5. And so, that is equal to y raised to negative 3. Okay? Take note that the exponent is negative. Okay? So, one of the laws of exponent, negative powers. Kapag ka ang isang variable or number is raised to a negative power, then that is equal to 1 over, always in 1, ha? 1 over y raised to positive of this. And so, that is y raised to 3. So, ito na yung magiging sagot niya. Okay? Or, pwede namang um, shortcut natin. That's y, y squared over y raised to 5. And so, since mas malaki yung exponent sa baba, diretso na natin 1 over, then dito na tayo magsasubtract sa baba. Okay? y raised to 5 minus, uh, 5 minus 2, that is 3. And so, 1 over y cubed. Okay? So, that's law of exponent number 2 for division yan. Now, law of exponent 3, power of a power. So, in general, if x is a real number and m and n are positive integers, then x raised to m raised to n is equal to x raised to m times n. Okay? Um, take note dito, yung base ng m is x, yung n naman, yung buong x to the power of m. When that's the case, i-multiply lang natin si m at saka si n. Example, x raised to 4 raised to 3 equals x raised to 12. So, multiply lang yung 4 at saka 3. So, x raised to 12. Law of exponent number 4, power of a product. In general, if x and y are real numbers and n is a positive integer, then we have xy raised to n is equal to x raised to n, y raised to n. So, ibig sabihin yung base ng n, yung dalawa, xy, and they are um, being multiplied. So, x times y yan, right? So, yung power na n, i-distribute natin kay x at saka kay y. Okay, so that becomes x raised to n times y raised to n. Multiplication pa rin to. Okay? Example, x, y raised to 5. So, distribute. Take note, yung x dito, ang exponent niya ay 1. Okay? Ang y, exponent niya rin ay 1. So, it's like we distribute 5. Multiply natin sa 1. At saka dito din sa y na exponent niya ay 1. So, it's like 5 times 1, that's x raised to 5. 5 times 1, so that's y raised to 5. Okay, so let's have another example. Um, yung my exponent sa loob. Let's say a squared b cubed raised to uh, 2. Okay? So, meaning, ito si 2, i-distribute natin dito kay a at saka dito kay b. So, it's like 2 times 2, 4. So, A raised to 4. And then, dito kay B, 3 times 2. So, that would be 6. So, ito yung sagot. Next, law. Law of exponent number 5. Power of a quotient. Quotient naman. etong kanina, product yan. Kasi X times Y. Dito naman, it's division. Quotient because it's X over Y. X divided by Y. Now, if that's the case, pareho lang nung kanina, i-distribute lang natin yung power sa labas. Okay? Isa-isa kay x at saka kay y dito sa denominator. So, that becomes x raised to n over y raised to n. Example, we have 
2 over x raised to 2. So, we have, yung exponent ng 2 dito, tandaan, pag walang, walang nakikitang exponent sa isang expression or sa number or uh, variable, ibig sabihin, 1 ang exponent yan. So, we have, it's like 2 to the power of 1 and x to the power of 1. So, it's like 2 times 1, that's 2. 2 times 1, that's 2. So, we have 2 squared over x squared. Now, if a constant, yung constant, ano, ang naray sa exponent, kailangan yung isimplify. Okay? Kailangan isimplify. So, 2 squared is just 2 times 2. Okay? And that is 4. 4 over x squared. So, ito na yung, ito na yung sagot niya. Let's have an example. Simplify the expression negative 6x cubed y to the power of 4 times 3xy raised to 2. So, ang gagawin natin ganito. I-group natin. We are going to rewrite the expression by grouping the same variables or constants. Halimbawa, these are constants, di ba? So, i-group natin yan. Magiging negative 6 times 3. Okay, multiply because this is multiplication. And then, yung parehong x. So, we have x cubed and x. Okay? Again, ang exponent nito ay 1. Next, we have yung y. y raised to 4 at saka y raised to 2. Okay, y raised to 4 times y raised to 2. And then, we simplify. Negative 6 times 3, that is negative 18. And so, times... Um, yung x common, kopyahin lang yung common, and then 3 plus 1, that becomes 4. And then we have y, okay, dikit lang natin si y, and then 4 plus 2, that is 6. Hindi times sa plus, again plus. So, 4 plus 2, that is 6. And this is the answer. Let's have another example. We have simplify the expression negative 18x raised to 4 y squared over 3x cubed y. Okay, so pariho nung kanina sa multiplication, i-rewrite lang natin ang expression by grouping the same variables and constants. So we have negative 18 divided by 3, right? Um, times... Uh, times, of course, kasi magkadikit sila. Yung nasa taas magkadikit, dito din magkadikit. Okay. And so, we have x to the power of 4. x yan. And then, yung x din sa baba over x cubed. Then, we have y squared times pa rin yan. y squared over yung y sa baba. Alright. And then, we simplify. Negative 18 divided by 3. That is negative 6. Okay, and so this one here is x, common is x, and then 4 minus 3, kasi mas malaki yung nasa, um, mas malaki yung nasa taas, it's 4 minus 3, so that's 1. Okay, x to the power of 1 sana, kaya lang hindi na natin ilalagay yung 1. Then, y squared over y, so it's like y and then 2 minus 1. 2 minus 1 is still 1, so it's like, y raised to 1, pero hindi na natin ilalagay yung 1. So, the correct answer is negative 6xy. Okay, negative 6xy.